Welcome back. Just got back from the tent yesterday from the winter trip. Uh, this morning now I had to pull the snowmobile off the trailer driving into Superior, Wisconsin because Melissa found uh, uh, some free metal shelving and we can really use it up in that front garage to put some of our uh, ceramic molds on so I can get some more room in there. So I immediately uh, pulled the snowmobile off and uh, heading this way. Hopefully nobody gets them before I do. Well I picked up the shelves and now I'm stopping at L&M because I need to get a couple of things if they have it because it is 39 degrees right now and it's going below freezing at night which means it's time to tap for maple syrup. Well, I drove the snowmobile around and found a few trees that I am going to tap back there, but it is so windy you just can't film. It's blowing like you wouldn't believe when it gusts. I did stop at the store and Melissa's been stressing out because she couldn't find any pint jars, so I picked up 15 dozen pint jars. She has a whole bunch of fruit still in the uh, freezer that needs to be canned and now she picked up uh, like potting soil to get the seed started for this year's garden, but um, anyway, we got some jars here and she might stop and pick some more up. Here's those shelves that I have on the trailer here. I mean, they're nothing fancy, but they were free. Got a couple more smaller ones back here. And I need some shelves in here to get some of these molds up on there and then I need to build some shelves to get more of the molds on there so that I can get more room in here. This just takes up so much space. <laughs> that wind is blowing like crazy. Good morning everybody. No wind. I woke up earlier this morning, it was 27 degrees out, the wind had died down, now it's up to 30.6. I was looking all over for my camera and I remembered that I left it out here. You can see the shelves right there that I unloaded last night. It's going to be a nice day. Later today I'll bring the rest of these canning jars inside and get all of them brought down into the basement. I have a bunch of maple taps here. We're gonna get, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna put like four of them in today, I think, and see if that sap is running. It should be. We're dropping below zero, or we did, you know, or below freezing and then above freezing today. Uh, it's gonna cool down for the next like two days and only get up to like 26, but I'm gonna get a couple of these in, get a couple of buckets hung, and see what happens. I got all these from my friend Scott. Um, his dad does a lot, or did a lot of uh, tapping maples and made just gallons and gallons of uh, syrup. He still does it, just not as much as he um, used to. So he got me some of these taps probably two years ago and I'm just finally gonna get a chance to use them. I believe, I can't remember what size bit he's said to use, but this one looks like it'll be just fine. Yesterday I came out here, I didn't have the snowmobile there at the time, but uh, 
the ice had come, the snow and ice on top of the roof had come all the way down. And I walked in and it kind of, it was weird because I looked at the window and it's like, what's going on? This warm weather uh, keeps up. I'm gonna have to get the snowmobiles inside and pull the four wheelers out. But at first, when we're doing the tap in the trees, we should still be able to use the uh, the snowmobile. I drove it around the loop yesterday, and I'm just gonna do ones that are kind of close. To me. Uh, well, maybe I took you guys out there when I went around. I can't even remember. Um, keep them close to the trail because I've got a job starting this coming week so Melissa's gonna have to go out there and pull the sap when I'm down there down in the cities I think I'll put a few more taps in. I've got seven of those two gallon buckets and I got those buckets because they'll just be easier to handle uh, for Melissa if she's running out there to grab it. And, um, and then I've got a few of these uh, five gallon buckets here, but Scott, um, you saw all the buckets in the back there I and mean, he sent me a ton of buckets. So I'm not you know, gonna be collecting like him and his dad did, but uh, not this year, that's for sure. But at least I'll have somewhere to put the sap until I can boil it down. I could do multiple taps on this tree, but I'm just, I've got enough trees where I'm just gonna go around and tap a few and see what happens when it gets above freezing. I see somebody's out shooting a 22 today.
there's some more up ahead. There are some really nice ones down there where I made that other trail. I'm just not sure how good the snowmobile will turn around in there. When I originally did this, I was figuring, okay, we're probably gonna be doing it with the four-wheeler, which we probably will in just a few days, but uh, I think I'll go down the trail here, and I think there's a couple I can tap that are easy to get to, and then there's one back on the trail away so I can loop around and put one in there. And then we'll just kind of see um, what's happening. I mean, there's one like right there ahead of the snowmobile. Um, that one I can tap also. This one here I can tap. There's a whole bunch of them back in here and uh, just not easy enough to get to for Melissa to be traipsing through the snow. Looks like we had an unlucky rough grouse this uh, winter, not too long ago probably, that did not make it. I have two nice maples right here. Maybe I can drive in with the snowmobile and back out, make a little trail to come in here. I have this one right here also, which is real easy. It's right on the trail. This one here is not in the best shape, but I tell you, uh, I've had some of my best sap producers being diseased or dying maples. Sometimes they just really run. I have just got so many maple trees. I swear we could probably do 50 taps. I mean, they're just everywhere. <laughs> I think instead of doing those there, I'm going to make the loop. And there was that tree when I was just first coming in on this trail, and I'll just tap that one. We'll just keep everything on the same trail this time. Well, there we go. Seven trees tapped. Come out later today when it, you know, this afternoon when it's warmed up and see if they're running yet. We need bacon. I'll get my out and grab some from the freezer. No, it's too light. I'm bad enough. I think I'm gonna just buzz the loop and see if any of those trees are dripping yet. It's now, it's uh, 40.6 degrees. 
I don't know what it is inside those woods, but let's see if anything is producing any sap. Nothing yet. So far, they're all looking pretty dry. The snowmobile definitely does not handle as well in this soft, melting snow. And the sled doesn't run as good either, but uh, I have a feeling that within a week we'll be doing everything on a four-wheeler. I'm going to get this cleaned up over here uh, eventually and then under the snowmobile you get those. I have a couple of them at the hobby farmhouse, the little wheel things that go under the skis and stuff and you can wheel the snowmobiles around. And then I want to wheel them both over on the other side of this cement curb here so they're just out of the way over there for the summer months. I'll bring the four-wheelers up to the front garage here sometime today. And the other snowmobile can stay out for a little while because we can still use that. I'm just running up to the grocery store. Melissa wants to make fajitas. I don't know if they're a keto fajita or maybe all fajitas are keto. I don't know. But anyway, there was a few things that she needed, so I told her I'd run up and pick them up. Oh, I got everything she needs and made it back to the farmhouse. I still have to bring those four-wheelers in the garage, but all afternoon here I've been trying to get done with this uh, tent winter trip video, and I'm almost there. Okay, everyone, the tent winter trip editing is finished. It's finally rendering. Let's see before mistakes, if there are any that I have to edit out, it's one hour and 56 minutes long. Let's go bring the four-wheelers into the garage.
Well, I haven't filmed anything this morning. Today is house cleaning day. Bedding is in the wash. Getting everything cleaned up. Uh, Melissa, she's making fajitas right now. I think they're keto fajitas because they're a different kind of a whatever a fajita goes into. I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, she's not doing a video on it because we wanted to try them first to see if they're any good and then if we like them, she'll do a video on them eventually. It looks really good. It really does. I'm bringing the canning jars and stuff downstairs so I can get the ones out of Melissa's truck and bring them downstairs. I still have more to bring down, but Melissa just poked her head in the door and said it's time for lunch. We just got the oil tank filled up here about a week ago. I think that's the third fill this winter, and that should be good now. We won't have to fill it up until fall. The rocks are in the final step, and they get pulled out today, so I should have some polished rocks later. Certainly does look delicious. Now the sun is warm enough to melt some of the snow, but it's still only 27 degrees. Well, I got all the new jars down here, and we have plenty of room for more. And I have all of the stuff that she has canned recently brought down here now and put on the shelves. Back in August, Melissa and I went and got, I don't know if it was cherries or peaches, or I think it was cherries, and they had some grapes there that were a really good deal green grapes, but when we ate them they had no flavor. So she decided to can them all in a light syrup and now I just opened one and I want to see what they taste like. They taste really good now. These taste really good now. Yay! Before they just had nothing. They were I mean they were wet when you ate them so that was good but other than that there was nothing there. And now She's gonna make, um, she got vanilla beans, and she's gonna make vanilla bean extract or whatever. And one of them is gonna go into whiskey. One of them is gonna go into brandy. We don't drink hard liquor at all. She doesn't drink at all, but. Uh, so we picked that up for it, and I have some, a partial bottle of vodka out in the fifth wheel from years ago when she would have a drink once in a while and I need to go out there and grab that. She's gonna do those three different kinds. I told her I'd be the taste tester. <laughs> so let's go out to the fifth wheel and get that bottle of vodka for her. so tiny in here when all the slides are in like this. There we go.
You know spring is on the way when the wind starts picking up like this. Well, I'm going to grab the snowmobile and make the loop and just dump the snow out of those pails. Nothing's going to be running today, but uh, it's nasty that wind is, but I'm going to make the loop anyway and get it done. That takes care of all the buckets. Uh, eventually I'll get covers on them or something. Right now all we're trying to do is see when we're going to start getting some sap and uh, we can just add two things after that happens. I tell you when I was up to the tent and even yesterday I was warm when I went up there the first day and then yesterday it was warm the sled just you just don't have any power with it but when it's chilly like this man this thing works just awesome tonight I'm watching the edited version of the tent winter trip Looks like I'm 30 minutes and 33 seconds in, so I'm not maybe a third of the way done, I don't know. So I got this going, Melissa's out there making some kind of a keto cheesecake. Star Trek is playing on TV, and I still have to bring the garbage can down eventually. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. After having some 40 degree days, I don't even want to go outside right now to run the garbage can down, but it has to be done. I will see you guys on the next video.